Hello, hello! Last Friday, I was stuck in a traffic jam for two hours. And it reminded me of the Natalie I was some years ago. The one who would have gone crazy, impatient, angry at all the people who don't know how to drive, looking at the clock every five minutes and complaining to my husband about the situation. And yet, this is not how I have reacted. As I was not driving, I used that extra time to listen to a podcast, answer a few calls, and joke with my friends who were also in the same traffic jam. I felt free to do what I loved, even though I was stuck on a highway with no close exit. So how does it come that when I feel stuck in my life, Maybe because my business doesn't grow as fast as I wish. Or maybe because of a personal situation without any clear solution. How does it come that in these moments, I lose my capability to be patient, to slow down, to take profit of the situation, to do what I love? Well, I've come to understand that This is because I resist feeling stuck. I don't accept that I'm stuck in the traffic jam of life. My powerful mind wants to take control, to get out of this feeling as fast as possible. And the more I resist this sensation, the more it grows. And you might recognize yourself in this. Maybe You will try your best to accelerate, to push forward and test many solutions to stop that feeling of powerlessness. I get that. I sometimes experience the same way. So what do we do when we are mad at being stuck? First, acknowledge that you feel stuck. Instead of jumping into some race for solutions, Take the time to contemplate the sensation. Journal where you feel constrained in your life, locked into a version of yourself that you don't like, blocked in a situation where none of your actions change the game, with this hamster in your mind looping 24 hours a day. There's nothing comfortable in contemplating feeling stuck. You may experience frustration or even anger, but when you stay long enough with the emotions associated with this inertia, there comes a moment when you naturally want it to stop. And this is when you can contact the opposite of feeling stuck which is freedom. To get out of these moments where nothing moves forward as you wish. Celebrate your freedom. Take some time to journal where in your life you are experiencing some freedom. Might be celebrating the freedom to manage your time as you wish, or to live in a city that you love, or to feel free to share your point of view or to to care for your health, enjoy time with some friends, stay in bed 10 minutes longer if you wish so, or work from home once a week. The more you genuinely acknowledge the freedom you already experience, the more you dissolve the energy stuck in your body. And so does life providing you with providential solutions.